Hello, Sagittarius. What is good with you? We are now going to extend your May reading out here a little bit today, okay? May extended reading. We're going to dig it up, see if we can get some deeper details, okay? So if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of this video. Also, the Amazon links where you can buy every tarot deck that I use here in these videos is in the description as well. All those links if you want to check that out, okay? So the first thing I want to look at here is how this person feels about you. That's what we're going to break the ice with, man. Person that you're dealing with. Who could be another Sagittarius for some of you? How's this person Sagittarius is dealing with feel about them? How do they view you? How do they view this situation? What are their true intentions? How do they feel about you? I want to jump around. Oh, there we go. See that? See how that works? What is it? Oh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Mm. Could be an earth sign for some of you. Huh. I don't know what to say about that yet. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. Oop. Six of Wands reversed. They feel like they wasted their time. Could be a Cancer. I also have Aquarius and Leo. Yep, they don't feel like you take this seriously. They feel like it's just a game to you. They feel like basically it's just a game to you. They're throwing in the white towel. Yeah, they definitely feel like you're not coming forward. Damn, two Leo cards here. They're very drained. I, I think that they're a lot more vulnerable than you may know. Okay? A lot more vulnerable than you may know. They feel like you're, you're very selfish and greedy, too. They feel like you're, this is very one-sided, like you don't care about anybody but yourself. Is that true? I don't know. I'm not here judging you. I'm not saying this is what you're doing. For whatever reason, that's how they feel about you, though. Could be a third-party situation for some of you, but I just really feel this strong sense of they feel like you're just having a good time. You don't care. Don't have a care in the world. Doesn't mean anything to you. And they're, they're kicking themselves in the ass because they feel like they wasted their time. They feel like you stabbed them in the back, you know? Like, you know, I, I put all this work, effort, and energy into this here, and you just don't care. You just don't care. Don't mean nothing to you. You don't have a care in the world. You're probably out with your friends, having a good time, and you don't even care, you know? Some of them view you as a player. They see you, they, they think that you're just playing games. King of Wands reversed. Hmm. Is that true, Sagittarius? Is it? You tell me. Again, no judgment for me. I'm not saying that you are or you're not, but that's how they feel. Well, let's see what actions they're going to take. What actions is this person taking towards Sagittarius universe? What actions are they taking? What actions are they taking? What actions are they taking? Oh, there it is. Two of Swords. <laughs> I don't really see them taking any actual action. They're up in their head, not 100% sure what to do. I think they want to, though. They want to. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. Queen of Swords reversed, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed, the Empress. Okay, Chariot again, a lot of Cancer energy here in this, and also could be another Sagittarius. So I really don't think they're actually taking any action. Um, they're, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that you'll reject them. They don't really feel like there would be a point. Got that Knight of Wands down there, Knight of Pentacles. So as much as they want to come forward, strength reversed again, as much as they want to come forward, they don't feel like there would be a point because they really genuinely feel like you don't care. They think you don't care. They think you don't give a damn, okay? Um, so I kind of feel like they're cutting you out of their life, but not because they want to, because they feel like that's the only choice they have. Like, five of swords, hang on. 
Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They want to come forward, but they don't feel like there's 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 no point. There is no point. You'll reject them. You'll turn them down. You'll ghost them. You'll ignore them. Hmm. Okay, well, I want to see how you really feel about him. How do you really feel about him, Sagittarius? Let's see how you really feel. How does Sagittarius really view this person, universe? How do you really feel about them? Hmm. Eight of Cups reversed. You haven't really moved on from this. No, you haven't. Not really. It, hey, hey, look. Universe doesn't respond to what your mouth says. It doesn't respond to what it looks like you're doing. Universe responds to what's really happening in your heart and mind. And I don't think you've really genuinely fully moved on from this. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. The cards you're tattling on you. It's okay. Okay, I'm not judging you. It's all good. Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Hmm, oh, there's that other Sagittarius. It could be another Sagittarius. A lot of temperance energy coming out. Could be all your energy here. But yeah, they make this person makes you feel very, very uneasy. This entire connection makes you feel very, very uneasy. Okay? So you're kind of at, kind of at a, a bit of a crossroads too. Um I think there's a part of you that wants to commit to this, but maybe for some of you you've already tried and you all just don't mix. You're like oil and water. You don't mix at all. You know, it's just uh, like like more like fire and gasoline. You know what I mean? It just pops off into conflict, and you don't want the drama. It's just too much drama. Some of you um, would, well, you all value your independence anyway, even when you're in a relationship. But some of you, and I know this is only a select few of you, uh, would much rather be single right now. Okay? But either way, I, I really feel like even those of you who are either pursuing or are currently in a new relationship, you still want... To be able to be your own person and be free to be yourself and express yourself, you know, and maybe with this person you weren't able to do that, you know. Um, you want to find true happiness. And as many of us know, or at least we learn as time goes on, you don't find happiness in a person. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all know me by now. I don't just say cute, trendy shit because it sounds cool, okay? I don't, I don't just say cliche things just to sound legit. It's true. There's nothing out here. Oh, there goes the ear. Oh, hate it when that happens, man. There's nothing out here that will make you happy. I think a lot of you are starting to learn the difference between temporary pleasures and true happiness. Now, here's another thing. I'm not one of those spiritual public figures who is going to make it sound like material things are bad. You know? Relationship, not relationships, money and material things and relationships or whatever are bad. You know, no, they're not bad. You just need to be able to draw the line and understand, okay, well, these things provide me with some temporary pleasure, but they don't provide me with true happiness. True happiness comes from you, not to you. And, and I think a lot of you are really, really, really fully grasping that. And it's very difficult to find that true happiness in yourself when you're mixed with a person that brings nothing but drama to the table, you know? So I think a lot of you are actually really, really ready to start a new cycle, but you're still kind of up in your head a little bit. This person makes you feel very uneasy and very, and they throw you off balance big time. Mm -hmm. But you still haven't fully moved on from it. Not fully. <clears throat> Not fully. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can get an outcome here. And I'm extending the outcome to the end of the year for the rest of 2021. Outcome. <laughs> will there be attempted reconciliation? If so, will it be successful? Or are you just going to keep on keeping on and move forward and heal? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Mm -hmm. Yep. The, the, oh, okay. The Five of Pentacles. Whoops. I dropped it. Five of Pentacles. Yep. I think you're choosing to abandon this here. You're abandoning ship.
Four of Pentacles. But you're still holding on to this, though. Magician reverse the world card. You're starting a new cycle. Four Swords. This person's still on your mind, though. Still on your mind. Okay, Queen of Cups reversed. Tower reversed. Okay, yeah. I got to clarify that. What's that tower reversed all about, universe? And will there be attempted? Because, see, they're, they're, the King of Pentacles is right next to it. And that's not a very action-packed card. Eight of Cups reversed. I do think that there eventually will be an attempted reconciliation with the Eight of Cups reversed and the Tower reversed. Okay, it could be a Pisces for some of you. Um, but I really don't see Five of Cups reversed. I see you're, you're, you're going to get over this here. I kind of feel like this person's going to attempt to reconcile, and you're probably just going to kind of ignore them. You know? Some of you may just straight up turn them down, but I really feel like you're ignoring yeah, five of wands reverse. See, you don't want the drama. You don't want the fighting. You don't want the the uh, just the drama. I, I just see you don't want drama. Five of wands, five of cups, both reversed. Moon card. You're 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 kind of keeping your energy to yourself. I don't see you feeding into it at all. I don't see you feeding into it at all. You're starting to come to a place of peace, though. I really feel like you are genuinely healing from this. Like genuinely. When I say genuinely, see what most people do when when the, what they think healing is is I just wait until it stops hurting. That's not healing. Okay, I see you actually running through this and processing through this until you get to a place of genuine, like where you're really okay with everything, okay? All righty, now it's time for the advice. What's the best advice for Sagittarius? Universe, source, spirit, best advice. Magician. Monitor your thoughts and your emotions, okay? Your reality is responding to you in ways that you may not realize. Two more shuffles, two more. King of Wands, stand your ground. There will, be, there will be a lingering sense of unfinished business between the two of you. That's fine. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That actually gives you a bit of an opportunity to sit and process through it. Because, see, closure is very overrated. Closure is very overrated. You don't necessarily have to contact somebody to have closure. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, most people say they want closure, right? People come to me all the time and say, will they ever, will I ever get to talk to them again? I need closure. Is it closure you want or are you trying to slide back up in there? Not everybody, but a great number of people, when they say they want closure, what they really want is to slide back up in there and try it again. That's not closure. That's not closure. Closure is something that you do in your own heart. Okay? And it can help if the two of you are both cooperative, that that's the quickest, easiest way to have closure. But it didn't have to happen that way. As long as you close this cycle out in your heart, you accept it, extract all the wisdom that you can from the situation, figure out how to use that wisdom to help create a better version of yourself and evolve spiritually and vibrationally. Um, you that hey, And then to the point to where you're looking back on it like, dude, you know what? I'm not upset about any of that. No, nope, I totally forgive them for what they did to me. I totally forgive myself for what I did. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm at peace with it, and I wouldn't take it back uh, even if I was given the opportunity. That's closure, okay? And you're being given an opportunity right now to have closure. You're being given an opportunity to have that closure. But it's something I think you're going to have to do in your own heart. And make sure you find that true happiness, okay? And the funny thing about it is, I was, for those of you who are uh, subscribed to my other channel, I was talking about this in one of my chats. It's in the description if y'all are interested in that. I get on the weekends and I chat with my subscribers in the mornings, on the weekend mornings. And I was telling you all, myself, personally, I remember when I found that very first little glimmer of happiness. Okay? And it doesn't have to be much. Okay? And, and even me. I was single. I was all by myself. I was all alone. And I found this little bitty flickering flame of happiness. And all you got to do is find that and focus on it. And the more you focus, and it can just be so little that you can barely even notice it's there. But if you find that little teeny weeny flame of happiness, you focus on it. 
and you focus all of your attention on that little bitty flame of happiness, it will begin to grow within you. You focus on it and only it. You make that your number one priority. It will continue to grow. And then the more you do that, and the more you allow this to unfold this way, your reality will begin to change. You will start attracting different people into your life, different situations. The types of situations you used to find yourself in no longer happen to you anymore. <clears throat> the types of people that find their way into your life are just nowhere to be found anymore. Mm -hmm. But right now, I really feel like you are being put in a place where you can close this cycle out in your heart. Okay? You need to close this cycle out in your heart. So, anywho, Sagittarius, I do feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you for tuning in, playing along, showing love, support, and positive feedback. I greatly appreciate it. It makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube. Don't forget to look in the description box of this video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.